We begin tonight with new information in the high profile murder of a prominent Detroit neurosurgeon. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. Now it's been nearly three weeks since Dr. Devon Hoover was found shot and killed in his Detroit home on West Bar Boston Boulevard near Woodward Avenue. Yesterday, detectives announced a $1,000 reward for information in the case as they continue to search for the killer. And now today, the medical examiner's office is releasing the autopsy of the 53-year-old. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney joins us now as friends and family continue continue to push for justice. It's been a little more than two weeks since 53 year old Dr. Devon Hoover was found shot to death here in his home in the Boston Edison District. As Detroit police work to arrest and formally charge someone with his murder, they're now pleading with the community to speak up. Tonight we're getting a closer look at the grim details behind the death of 53 year old Detroit neurosurgeon Devon Hoover. Police say they found Hoover shot to death on April 23rd. An autopsy released today shows the doctor was shot twice in the head, at least one of the shots while he was lying face down. A few days later, police arrested a person of interest on unrelated charges, but they've since been released. While police said today there are no updates in the case, they're now offering a $1,000 reward for any tips that lead to an arrest, justice that can't be served soon enough. In a statement to our newsroom today, family of Hoover said in part, quote, Devon left a gaping hole in our hearts that can never be filled. They go on to say, we are hopeful that those with relevant information will come forward to help bring some closure to this horrific series of events and that answers would be helpful in healing. Help that former patients and friends say they're hopeful will come soon too. Even knowing him for a short period of time, you felt like you knew Dr. Hoover forever. You knew that he was brought here to do great things. Brian Potter says Dr. Hoover kept his wife from being wheelchair bound with spinal surgery in 2021 and less than a year later did the same for him. I get emotional talking about it because he was more than a doctor. He was, yeah. like I said, he was a friend and he changed mine and my wife's life. Yeah. Potter now one of hundreds in the community calling for someone who saw something to say something. You took a life of a person that changed lives to so many people. Yeah, we're all encouraged to do the right thing in life, but some people are afraid or live by the code of no snitching. To bring a killer to justice isn't snitching, it's doing the right thing. Anyone with information on Dr. Hoover's case is asked to come forward. You can contact Detroit Police directly. We'll have all that information at WXYZ.com. Reporting here in Detroit, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News. You gotta hope they're gonna get some closure. Thank you, Whitney.